So DevOps with CI/CD pipeline uh, can be achieved using Azure DevOps. It can be also achieved with uh, various cloud services like AWS. Now we're gonna see how to achieve that via Azure DevOps. Now you just have to log into this particular website, uh, this portal called dev.azure.com. So uh, once you log into this, you would be provided an interface like this and you will have uh, a left navigation menu wherein you can you know uh, define uh, certain things you can define pipelines you can define repositories uh, look at this uh, you can perform operations on the existing repositories and you have boards wherein you know you can create work items and you know uh, you can update the work items right you can assign the work items so let's say you know a work item is assigned to you uh, regarding you know uh, creating a ci cd process or workflow you know uh, you can create here and you, know, you just have to go to so basically you have an option of pipelines over here once you go to pipelines so if you see here i have created a specific pipeline so likewise you can create a new pipeline as well i'm going to show you how to do that so here there is an option to you know create a new pipeline so just click on this and now uh, it says where is your code that means you have to you know select a git repository right so you have uh, azure repos you have bitbucket you have git so let's say i have so i'm gonna select github all right so i'm gonna change the username I'm gonna set my username and give my password over here all right I'm gonna say sign in so this would associate you know, develop pipeline with your repository so now you can see you know a lot of repositories over here I'm gonna choose one among them let's say you know placer right so this is my repository. All right, so now you can see various facilities provided by Azure Pipelines. So basically you can, you know, continuously build, test and deploy. And it has a you know, facility uh, to offer cloud hosted pipelines for Linux, Mac and Windows. Now you just have to scroll down and you say, you know, uh, you know you can select the repositories over here and you have to say approve and install all right just select the you know, username all right so this is going to configure your pipeline or you might have to you know configure a few things so now since the blazer uh, you know solution that i've built is built on asp.net core i'm going to select .net core so this is going to you know uh, specify uh, you know uh, yaml uh, configurations so you don't have to you know uh, specifically you know uh, queue yaml commands so i'm going to say save and run so commit, uh, you're gonna commit this and you can give some comments over here. Uh, so it says set up CI with Azure pipeline. I'm gonna edit this and say with Blazor. All right, so now I'm gonna say save and run. So this would create your pipeline and you know, it, it would uh, run the build. All right, so now it says job is queued. So probably once the job is complete, it's gonna you know, give you the green signal that job has been completed. So that means a pipeline is created. All right. So uh, it's taking from the repository, uh, this particular repository. And let me refresh this. If I have an option to refresh, I'm gonna refresh this. 
if you see it says job running now if you click on this you can see you know uh, the logs over here so starting checkout of from this particular branch you can see you know multiple operations being performed over here and these are the steps which is going to be performed under this particular job so let's wait for a while and see if the job gets done so now it says finishing the job most of the you know uh, the uh, the steps in the job has been sequentially completed and now it's waiting for finalizing the job so this one warning it says no test source found because i mean we don't have any testing framework inside of this particular solution so in case if it was present it could have you know uh, used that uh, you know testing framework and you know tested the solution and then this warning wouldn't have been occurred uh, however it is just a warning uh, once you you know create a testing framework and creating this create a testing method this would be gone now it says job is successfully completed you can see the green signal over here and the status has completed and it took almost 2 minutes 15 seconds to complete this particular um, sequence of activities so now this is how easy it is to you know create a ci cd pipeline in azure and you know you can go further and add an action uh, to uh, you know deploy this particular uh, build uh, to a specific server or enough uh, any vm instance if you have uh, so well that's uh, that's it for enough today's video and i'm going to cover the further steps in the upcoming video thank you